Jazakallah khair for your patience. I understand it's a warm afternoon and this is a masjid. You've prayed your Dhuhr Salah over here and you've made the sacrifice to sit and wait patiently. And we try to remove the chairs to fit in and make as many of you as we possibly can. So thank you. And uh, we all know why we are gathered here. And our beloved brother, Mufti Mank, doesn't need any introduction. You all know him and he's renowned internationally. So on behalf of the college, on behalf of the founder of the college, the executive staff, the students, the teachers, everybody that is associated with the college, uh, Mufti Mank, we extend to you a very, very warm welcome. And uh, we extend this welcome to you with a lot of love. You are a brother in Islam. Although you live on the other side of the world, we follow you on Facebook and on YouTube. And it's very inspirational what you post over there. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you and to reward you for the generosity of your time. We know you have a very, very busy schedule and you will still take time. Uh, brothers and sisters, I do want to request you all. I know you all love to hug Mufti Mank and, and, and shake hands with him, but he has to leave at very, very short notice. He has just fitted us into the, into the program and we would rather listen to Mufti than listening to me because we have many opportunities to listen to me and all of us. But uh, as a word of introduction, Mufti Mank, I think it's very important that we introduce Minaret College to you. We are the first Islamic school that was established in southeast of Melbourne. And uh, we have our main campus in Springvale. And uh, between the two, this is our young campus and we are developing this campus and inshallah when you visit us the next time, you see all of the construction work is completed and we will host you in our, in our brand new building inshallah. Between the two campuses we serve almost 2,000 students, uh, all Muslims alhamdulillah and a minimum of 60 different nationalities. So that is the beauty of uh, Mineral College. It has been established for more than 25 years now and uh, was founded by Mr. Muhammad Hassan our founding uh, director who, who has retired just two years ago but made himself available on, uh, on uh, special occasions like this and of course uh, Ms. Susie Hassan, his wife who is still part of the college and Sister Inaz is over there. I welcome all of you and uh, with that I uh, hand the mic over to uh, our beloved Mufti to speak to us and we know you are very pressed for time so whatever you can give to us, uh, 10 minutes is, is like 10 hours spending with you so just off of a Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. I think we need to uh, develop that wa alaikum wa salam into a slightly quicker, less monotonous sort of uh, greeting. So we can try again, inshallah. I am going to greet you. And you say wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa MashaAllah, MashaAllah, that's good. I think uh, I'm more excited than you guys to be here with you today. I want to ask you guys something. Who eats bread? Put up your hand. Okay, put your hands down. Where do you buy the bread from? Okay, hang on. Who makes the bread? Who makes the bread? The bakers. Are they Muslims? Thank you. Who, for example, um, catches a lift to come here? with someone who's not your parents, yeah? A driver or someone, put up your hand. Okay, who brings you to school? Your carer, is, is he or she a Muslim? Yes, okay, good. Ask you another question. Uh, who, how many of you have ever met a policeman? Put up your hand, put your hands down. Was that policeman a Muslim? Okay, most of you said no. Hang on, hang on. That's a point I'm making. Most of you said no, right? How many of you have uh, seen people uh, clean, clean the streets and so on? Yeah? Are they, the people you saw, were they Muslim? Put your hands down, right, okay. 
Um, how many of you have been to the dentist? Put up your hand. Okay, was the dentist a Muslim? Yes and no. Okay, that's, that's good. So I can hear a lot of no's, okay? How many of you have uh, been to the... How many of you have been on an aircraft, aeroplane? Okay, put your hands down. Was the pilot a Muslim? Okay, mostly, mostly the guys are saying no, right? Okay. Okay, right. So I think I'm going to be making a very interesting point here. My beloved children, I want you to listen to something. I asked you a few questions. And I proved to you that the people around you who served you were not all Muslims. But they served you. They helped you. They, they actually did something for you. And they were not Muslims. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. There are so many of them all around. And what they've done for you is make your life easy. Right? They're either the baker, for example, the ice cream man. Do you agree? Right? For example, the, the you know, Maybe people you went to a restaurant and they might have been working there. They could be Muslim, but a lot of them are not Muslim. The, the pilot who took you somewhere, uh, maybe the doctor, the driver, the dentist, and so many others, they're not Muslim. And what did they do for you? They actually helped you. Now, I want you to know that when it comes to helping people, your religion becomes irrelevant. Did you hear what I just said? When it comes to helping people, your religion becomes irrelevant. You help everyone, no matter what faith they belong to. So if you're a doctor tomorrow, can you put up a sign there saying only Muslims are allowed here? No. no. If you're a dentist, if you're a pilot, can you say I'm only going to fly Muslims? No. no. If you're a, a, a driver, for example, are you going to say um, I'm only going to treat Muslims or I'm only going to drive Muslims? No. We are human beings. We will help everyone else. We will help as many people as we can. And we will save lives. We will serve lives. That's what we will do. We will save lives and we will serve lives. Because that's what makes humanity fulfill the role that the creator of that humanity has intended. So we all will try to help one another, inshallah. Yes, you're Muslim, you're in a Muslim school, you have your identity, you must be proud of that identity. You must be proud of your identity. Don't give up your faith. But remember, other people have different faiths. Let them do whatever they have to, okay? Let them believe whatever they want to. You need to learn whatever you have and you need to showcase it, you need to teach them. Do you know that a lot of people think Muslims are bad, right? Yeah? Are you, are you guys bad? You're not bad. So what do you have to do? do you, does it mean you must give up your faith and say, okay guys, they think we're bad, so let's just become someone who we're not. Is that, is that fair? No. You have to be proving to them that, listen guys, we're Muslim and we're very, very good. We serve. We also do the same and we do it in a very, very big way. So uh, who wants to be uh, a school teacher here? Put up your hand. Who wants to become a teacher here? Oh, good luck to all the teachers, mashallah, tabarakallah. See, we're gonna be we're gonna be having a shortage of teachers in the future. Uh, how we already have, subhanallah. I tell you what, school teachers are the most, most, most important people in your lives. Can I tell you why? They get a salary that might not be that grand, but they get a reward from the Almighty that is way, way beyond what they know themselves. You know, in the Prophet Sallallahu in one of the battles, there were a few people who were like, like, like POWs, like prisoners of war, and he told them, if you teach 10 people how to read and write, we will free you. So the freedom, their freedom was their paradise. So if you, basically, if you teach 10 people how to read and write, we're gonna give you, uh, like you, what you consider your paradise. And I tell you, our teachers have taught thousands, not just 10, thousands of children, so they will get, inshallah, paradise. Say Amin. I mean, I mean, have hope. And this is the reason why a lot of the times, you know, when it comes to uh, salaries, uh, which is the job that is the most highly paid? Come, what do you want to be? Yeah? Doctor, Tell me. Doctor, Doctors. Player. Soccer players. No, it's not. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, you agree it's not the teacher who's the highest paid, right? In terms of money. But I promise you, in the eyes of Allah, the teacher is really, really, really one of the highest paid. One of the highest paid. So much so that Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Innama bu'ithtu mu'alliman. I was sent as a teacher. Wow. He was sent as a teacher, which means it's one of the tasks he had. It's a very noble task. So my, my children, I don't have a lot of time, but I, I, the point I wanted to raise today to you is work hard at school, 
and your idea must be inshallah to be able to be an asset to your community, your nation, your country and to be able to be an asset to the ummah as well you will serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through serving the rest of humanity who were created by the same Allah you know Allah created us, He created everyone else Allah created the other creatures as well so we need to respect everyone and everything that's what Islam is all about so when we showcase Islam correctly to the people they're going to say, hang on, I heard that Islam and the Muslims are bad, but I'm interacting with some people here, and they are the best of people, they are lovely. They really care, they're so kind, they speak to each other, you know, they help each other, and inshallah, in that way, we will be able to succeed. Is that a good message? Did you hear it from me? Yes. So the next time I come, I can ask you more questions, inshallah? Yes. Okay, I want to ask you the last set of questions for today. Uh, the question is, and I need order. I need order, meaning you put up your hands and I will ask you, uh, I will ask you to answer, right? What do you want to become? Yes. Engineer, mashallah. What do you want to become? Yes. Yes. A doctor, yes. Doctor, yes. Police officer, yes. Yes. Hafiz Anna? Engineer, yes. Hafiz, yes. Soccer player, yes. A pilot, yes. Soccer player, yes. Doctor. Dentist. Yes, with the green jersey, yeah. An architect, okay, this side, yes. Wow, I love you, mashallah, kindergarten teacher. I'm going to send my kids to you, yeah. <laughs> my grandkids, inshallah, yes. Scientist, yes. Doctor, mashallah, yes. A lawyer, yes. Doctor. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm slightly deaf. You know, now I'm a grandfather, so. Say it again. Architect. Wow, beautiful. Yes. Scientist. Okay, that's it. Do you notice something? Everyone wants to be something different. A few of you want to be the same things. Everyone wants to be something different. You know why? Allah's created us different so that everyone can serve in a beautiful way. If all of us were doctors, what would happen to the lawyers and the accountants and and, and the pilots who would fly us. I mean, besides this guy flying us, I haven't heard of many more pilots. So by that time, I think we're going to be needing, uh, you know, uh, he's going to be in demand. SubhanAllah, big salary you're going to be having if that's the case. But the point I'm raising is, thank Allah we are different. So when Allah made us different, it's in order for us to be able to fulfill different roles. It would be boring if everybody thought the same. We have two half a year who are going to lead the Salah, inshallah, right? Inshallah, and we have... A, a kindergarten teacher who's going to be teaching our kids, inshallah. We have uh, a few others. I hope you're going to have a few more teachers as we grow a little bit, inshallah, you know. Uh, and so that we can actually have institutions like this that people will run. Therefore, learn to respect everyone because we need all the people. We need all of you. We need all of you in community and society. So work hard. Because if you don't work hard, you want to be a pilot, but you're not going to get there. If you don't work hard, you want to be an architect, you're not going to make it there. Work hard and be focused and don't let things distract you. I've spoken enough for today, inshallah. And I think you, can, uh, you guys can take that message away. I need to leave as much as I don't want to leave. You can see I'm stuck on my chair. Who put glue on this chair? <laughs> yeah, you see, these guys are uh, the guys who are actually keeping me stuck here, inshallah. But mashallah, I enjoyed it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Did you? Yes. You did? Yes. I'm a funny guy? Do you know why? Because I have braces. Okay, Allah bless you guys. Take care guys and Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair, Mufti Men. In fact, uh, we, we are very appreciative of the message you've delivered. Myself more than anyone else because you've just made my life very easy. And uh, teachers get enough rewards, so teachers now pay right for the next 10 years. You heard it from Mufti Meng that you'll get your reward in the day after. Now don't panic, you'll get your pay rise. I didn't speak about a pay rise, by the way. <laughs> that has to happen. Don't put words in my mouth, Shef. <laughs> I'm just taking advantage of the situation. Nah, no, that's just a joke. On behalf of the college and in appreciation of uh, our beloved brother taking his time out, we are presenting to you a book that is the history of this college 
but also the history of Muslims in Australia. It's called the Standing Tall, but together with that, we have a small power bank that will last you two and a half days. We know you travel a lot, so that will come in handy. This is also my Thank you.